Uh, my name is Ronnie Knopp and I work for ISOSU. To me, being a part of this project, it, it means a lot because um, I've worked in the IRC for two years and to kind of see such a big donation come, you know, from a family that really actually kind of cares about um, OSU and the culture and diversity that we provide here, it, it means a lot to kind of be taking a part of that. My name is Sydney Jewell and I work at the MU Design Studio. Um, I think it's important that these dolls are Oregon State. Well, first of all, because um, an alumni have been collecting them for various years, and also because we have a lot of um, people from different backgrounds, and I think it's really important to showcase all those different cultures. Uh, my name is Shane Rizal. I'm the IRC coordinator for ISOSU. Uh, one of the favorite uh, dolls, um, I like one of these, was the, uh, the Malaysian doll, just because I'm actually from Malaysia. So it was, I mean, they actually bring a lot of uh, sense and um, you know uh, identity and like you know I mean it, it feels nice to be represented you know even all the way across you know the globe. I'm Josie McHenry Wall and I grew up in Corvallis and my mom is Jane uh, McHenry. I'm Julie McHenry. I also grew up in Corvallis. Uh, currently live down in Northern California. Uh, and my mom was Jane uh, Kreider McHenry Ringo, the, the donor of the dolls. I'm Jay McHenry, uh, lived in Corvallis all my life, still live here. I'm her oldest son. There's one other sibling of ours that's not here, my younger brother John McHenry, who lives in Portland. We're not exactly sure which doll is the oldest. Um, many of them were collected by our grandmother, Ruth Kreider, and uh, she started collecting way back in the early 1900s. But we do know some of the ones that we remember from when we were children. There's a particular Russian doll that we all remember well. There's a Spanish uh, senorita that we remember well uh, being part of our childhood. Um, and there's several others that we know our grandparents bought as they traveled. I remember um, my mother spending a lot of time talking about where they were going to go, and she'd have the maps all laid out, and she'd have books open, and she'd be studying, the, you know, the places they were going to visit. My mom and my father traveled. Probably they started in uh, the '60s, traveling to Europe and uh, she, she carried on the tradition that my grandmother had of uh, bringing back a particular doll from the country that she visited. And uh, she, loved, I, I, she loved to share the experience of the country and the culture and with the doll. It represented something that my mother loved. <laughs>